Helen Bowden is here. Helen runs BBC Radio. For you, Helen, well, you're in the news today. I am in the news today. Because you've had a pop at the government, which is not something senior BBC executives often do. Sometimes they need to. And why is it necessary well, it on this occasion? It, it's about our future governance. And um, the core thing about the BBC, the thing that has kept it strong for all the decades of its life, has been its independence from political or commercial pressure. It's why the public trust us as much as they do. It's why the public trust us more than any other news provider. They know that we may make mistakes, but they're honest mistakes. They're not because someone was leaning on us politically or commercially. The new governance structure of the BBC that's been suggested by a man called Mr Clementi is that um, there is a single board and a, our regulator becomes Ofcom, but the vast majority of people on that board are government appointees. Now, who, who gets appointed by government? Sometimes they are truly expert in media, for example, and sometimes they are just big donors to parties, and this is true of any government, not just this government. This board is going to decide the BBC's editorial policy, its editorial direction, it'll have oversight of news and current affairs. The things where our impartiality and independence are absolutely fundamental. And frankly, the suggestions that they are government appointees do to us feel like an undermining of our independence. And we want these to be robustly debated by the public. Helen, in the last couple of years, Jimmy Savile, Tony Blackburn, cutbacks, reorganisations. Is there any good news from the BBC? The good news from the BBC is what we do day in, day out, hour in, hour out, and our fabulous audiences. Those things are really difficult and painful, and we try to learn from them. But the fact is, the British public still turns to the BBC in their millions every single day. We touch well over 95% of the population. Um, and that is the sign of our strength and optimism. You know, it's very easy to become absorbed in the institution because you see it through the perspective of politicians and newspapers. The public really doesn't. The public decides. It has loads of choice and it chooses the BBC time and time and time again.